So we're in the church of All Saints Pavement in the centre of York. It's a parish church, a guild church, but also a church for the ex-services associations and the Royal Dragoon Regiment. So in here we have a beautiful window commemorating four young men who died from York in Afghanistan. And this project is to try to link those who died in the First World War in the pursuit of peace all the way through to the people who have died in Afghanistan and to, to bring to mind those who will die in the future because wars have not ceased. So the idea is for, to, for a whole year to ask people to make puppies. They can be knitted, crocheted, use felt, whatever anybody wants to do and keep hold of them until September next year and then in September we will bring groups of people together, give them rolls of camouflage netting, probably a metre wide and nine metres long, so that they can attach their puppies. They will then be brought to the church and we're going to cover All Saints pavement in camouflage netting covered with puppies. Hopefully some of the puppies will have the names embroidered of family members from the First World War or any war since then as part of a personal ritual for remembrance and it's all to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Armistice Day, 11th of November 2018. I sat in a meeting in York, it was actually with Make It York, where they gather lots and lots of people together, hundreds of people, uh, with good ideas for York and what they're doing with their businesses. And I heard a report that said that somebody was trying to bring the ceramic poppies, which was an exhibition at the Tower of London last year, to York. And I sat there thinking, why is York trying to bring something from London? York could do something for itself. So the idea came from that meeting, and All Saints Pavement is the perfect uh, location for this in the middle of the city. So it will be York's art installation out on the streets for the First World War commemorations. So the, the families of the young men who died from York in Afghanistan, the Royal British Legion, have all formed a partnership. So it makes sense to kind of launch this project with everybody. And it's a very slow launch to start with, and after Christmas we'll do a bit more to chivvy people along. But we've had knitting groups and individuals, and we're hearing the lovely stories of family members who died in the First World War, so people want to make poppies in, in their memory. I think if we could aim for over 100,000 poppies, 100th anniversary and 1,000 for each of the years that have gone by, that would be quite something in this city. We want to leave it up just for 30 days, so it'll go up just before Remembrance Day and be taken down afterwards. Well, clearly I'd be very pleased if it happened, but it's not really about that. It's about helping individuals to remember. And the more people that can remember and try to bring peace about in our world, the better. And if all of that happens and stories are told and relationships are built, then the installation will have done its job.